Live ammunition fired again in Nasiriya. Here, like in other cities across southern Iraq and in Baghdad, security forces have tried to disperse crowds of protesters blocking bridges and roads. No matter their losses, demonstrators are not backing off. In the capital, residents of all ages try to cross strategic bridges leading to the green zone where the government sits. Everything is terrible. People are here today to demand their rights because their rights have been stolen. For 16 years, people have been played. We've been living with destruction and war. All of the generations have been destroyed. Among their grievances, corruption among politicians and what they see as Iran's growing influence over Iraq. This burned-down building is Iran's consulate in Najaf, set alight overnight. Meanwhile, in Basra, security forces managed to reopen roads. I would like to say that all of Basra's streets are open and everyone can go to work. With more than 300 protesters killed in the last two months, Iraqi authorities announced Thursday the creation of a so-called crisis cell in an effort to restore order. Thursday was the deadliest day since protests started.